Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it, Capricorn. Thank you, God, for blessing the Capricorn Collective with a clear, concise message from you. So let's see what's going on this week. We've got the hanged man, all right? Some of you could be dealing with the Piscean person. We've got the Eight of Cups in reverse, all right? And then the Six of Swords uh, is the outcome. Um, there could have been a, a hold up here. Um, it's like... Um something almost got out but it didn't get out somebody almost walked away but then they came back there's like reconciliation somebody was manifesting this it could have been a Virgo an Aquarius Aries it could be anybody um this week the hangman Suspended animation. You don't know what's going to happen next. You're kind of hands off and you're not really engaging because you're asking yourself the question, why haven't I had what I really want? So you're really looking at you and examining you, um, taking a, a hands off approach to whatever this is, whatever you're creating here. You're kind of just going to let things shift or sift out how they will, you know, kind of let the dust fall. I'm getting a, a lot of masculine energy. Like this could be same sex connection. It's something about it being under under wraps, not out. The eight of cups in the reverse, not going on the journey that you really wanted to go on, but now reconciling with something else, something from the past where there was problem, there was turbulence, there was drama, there was someone here with um, maybe games, lies, and manipulation underhanded out for themselves aggressive there was a lack of communication with you and a particular person but now you're deciding to reconcile and come back together there could have been suspicion of same-sex connection while you were in a heterosexual relationship whomever this is somebody's not embarking on the journey that they really want to go on There is no finishing up and then moving into what it is you you secretly or maybe outwardly want to go to. It's something through a curveball in in the plans. Somebody had to come back with their tail tucked between their legs and to kind of It's like moving on and moving on together, but maybe even in shame or somebody had to move on in shame or they're moving on in shame in terms of the relationship because I don't know. It seems like there is somebody who could be playing both sides or playing both sides of the field or um, somebody could be waiting for something, waiting for a communication to. So I'm trying to get advice of in terms of what they should do, how they should go, how sh how they what they should do next. Definitely holding back. Maybe somebody's like trying to tame their sexual desire here, um, like sexual. Somebody's sexually repressed, or they can't go after what it is they really want. You know, all of a sudden their fantasy life or the life that they fantasized about, they aren't embarking on it. They have to go back to something that they were already established, something that they were already in, something that they were already invested in. There was a period of no communication, no coming together. Um, somebody took a passive approach, like they were wanting it to come back together. And now they are, but somebody, it's okay. Somebody just secretly gay, you know, in, yeah. Yeah, 
This is somebody on the down low. Somebody was on the outs with the, the person that they were married to. I don't know if, if they're going to come into agreement with somebody being, you know, just the front person, but there's a back person. Oh my, I, there is no pun intended. Um, like, you know, people have heard the term beard, like maybe somebody's going to agree to be someone's beard. This is getting way too wacky. All right, Capricorn, this is what I have for you. If it resonates, go over to the website, book there. If it doesn't, that's okay. Um, somebody, you know, if we take all the sexuality out of it, it looks like somebody wants to come back. Um, they want to come out of the cold. They made the wrong decision here. Um, they let something else come in between a relationship. And now they want to have a new star. They want to follow their heart back to their soulmate. Okay. Um, somebody. Oh, this is. Okay. I, I can't not see it. It's like somebody agreeing to be a beard. Somebody does play both sides. There is bisexuality, which is nothing wrong with it. Um, it's just what I'm seeing. Anyway, go over to the website book there. If you want your own personal reading. If you have a question or two, you can text it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so by clicking the Buy L a Coffee link. You also can find me here live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can ask questions. You can just come for the collective reading. Thank you, Capricorn. Many blessings to you.